Greetings, normies. Welcome back to Do Not Like, Do Not Read. I am John. Today with me is Joaquin. What's up? And Julius. Hey. Oh, today is going to be great. I hope you're a fan of creepypastas because we are delving into a new one. Uh, recommended to us yeah, by... We're going to be preparing a nice plate of creepypasta. Mm, yes. Mwah. Recommended to us by the wonderful Bob, you know... Thank you, Bob, of the former SDC. Thank you. Today, it's Sammy the Cat <laughs> revised. Yeah, not to con- be confused with Felix the Cat, I guess. So, uh, in the original note that he left, um, there he explains the story, but we're not going to explain that part. Cause it's spoilers, but... Found this as a creepypasta deletion appeal. Originally got deleted, revised, and appealed, denied... And this is the second revision. Genuinely horrible. Every sentence is awkward and bumbling and nothing in this story is remotely scary. So yeah, this is uh, on Facebook. As it has been deleted. So... Joaquin, if you will. Yes. I never thought of myself posting here. On what? On Creepypasta? On Pastebin. Or, well, I mean, no, this is on Pastebin because it's deleted, but it was I originally mean, on Creepypasta. I mean, this is probably supposed to be, like, a forum post, like, in universe. Reddit? <laughs> yeah, probably. It's probably a Reddit post. R slash no sleep. <laughs> I never thought of myself <laughs> posting here. R slash am I the asshole that brought me a cursed uh, gaming cartridge? And I was really mad at him and yelled at him. Was I too harsh on him? <laughs> Am I the asshole here? <laughs> Am I the asshole for getting upset at Mario bleeding at me? Please tell me. YTA, you should let Mario bleed whenever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> but Very I have wacky. a but I have a story to share with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just promise me that you're not going to laugh. We promise nothing. Great way to start a creepy pasta. I mean, say. you really should have thought about it before or, or right starting now your story with I, I never thought of myself posting here. <laughs> also, yeah, laughing maybe shouldn't be uh the anticipated emotion from your audience. Yeah. Guys, remember, this is the revised version oh, of yeah. Sammy the Cat. <laughs> yeah. How many... Was it revised, like, twice, or...? Yeah, twice, yeah. yes, I believe. God. What is up with this author, then? If this was revised twice? I guess they're not really good, but we'll see. I, I think, think the answers sucked. might lie within the story. We're gonna There's... find out. There's not a lot I know about this situation. Even though you're writing about it. And I can't process anything, but you're writing about it. So if I have bad English or anything else, I apologize. See, that's that's clever writing because, like, the author isn't good at English, so he makes up, or he or she makes up uh, an in-universe excuse for it. I'm shaking mm. right now. <laughs> literally I'm crying. crying. I'm shaking. literally shaking. I can't believe you would do this. Literally pissing myself right now. So I could hardly write. But here's a sentence to describe it to you, and it's not <laughs> very good. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so this is gonna be a short one. It's just gonna be one sentence. I think I think you uh I think there's a typo, man. I think you meant story. Here's a the story to here's a story to describe it to you and it's not very good. Well, yeah, it's probably. Sentence, it's only, <laughs> well, there's only a sentence to the story. There's only one thing we can say if you do not lie. <laughs> Sorry, I asked you. Oh my god. Line number 3 cuz enters. So, you know those shows we like to watch on television? Like SpongeBob SquarePants, The Amazing World of Gumball, and others. Oh, I there's love a lot watching others. Of, there's yeah, a sure, lot of TV sure. shows out there, man. Why are you specifically bringing up kids' shows? I mean, I think we know the answer. 
I, I loved when SpongeBob did a, a competition of Forge and Fire and made a weird Krabby Patty sword, I guess. You know the thing with the Amazing World of Gumball is I, I, I like it, I think it's funny, but I was kind of irritated at that one episode where uh, Gumball's child was dating his sister, that was kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that was a weird one, yeah. <laughs> The fact and the fact that they kept a, I, I made a whole arc out of it. <laughs> yeah, it just made it weirder. There was there were multiple episodes covering that. Also, another one of his kids was uh, literally shot in the head by her. It was also weird yeah. when they got involved with that Simi Eight gang. <laughs> I think one of the I think Gumball's uh one of Gumball's kids uh saved a girl and then they ended up fucking later. Yeah, there was also that green dude who was, like, harassing people on Roblox. I thought that was, was kind of weird as well. <laughs> anyway. I thought it and, was and kind the... of weird, but, you know, we just kept watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least they had a, they had one good Christian girl. Yeah, I thought it was probably <laughs> just a glitch. Mm, oh, well. I'm bringing these shows up because there are examples of shows that you and I used to watch. Don't bring me into your group. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch Gumball and Spongebob growing up. Fuck you, you don't know nothing about me. <laughs> Have I, you... you know, we grew up watching real shows like, um, uh, like, you know, NCIS. I grew up watching... Was it even uh, around at that time? I don't know. I grew up I watching watching the real stuff like uh like poor only a true veteran will remember the time the Cartoon Network tried to do live action shows and had a weird ghost hunting show with a bunch of kids Destroy Build Destroy was you know the realest show Brain Rush was also the realest show out there <laughs> Let's and let's not forget dude what would happen you know what, dude, what would happen if we got high and did 180s in the parking lot? <laughs> dude, my... The the realest cartoon show out there was Problem Solvers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, we're gonna, we gotta solve this problem of a story. <clears throat> Have you never found anything weird or creepy about these shows? No. Uh, not really. I mean... I mean the, the incest subplot is weird, yeah. but like, other than that... <laughs> Admit it. You certainly did. No. I just said no. <laughs> Stop and assuming I did too. things about me. <laughs> but it wasn't as bad as others think. Incest it was is just... not that bad. <laughs> oh, do you read the next line? <laughs> it was just for the comedy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I love being for, for jokes. It's, it's, the, it's the funniest thing. My life is like a comedy. <laughs> Trying hard to... Uh, Remedy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All the while, I'm still collecting. Um, I don't know. Broker cons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Aside from those shows, let's get to the story I'm about to tell you all. So this wasn't oh related, I guess. <laughs> Enough about that. Let's get to the point, I guess. Again, I'm sorry if I don't describe my thoughts and feelings about this. This what? show just fills is that what me you meant with... to write, <laughs> or is it like uh, you're you're sorry that you weren't like articulate enough about uh, your thoughts? I guess or that's what's supposed to be conveyed. This show just fills me with dread. Anyway, here goes <laughs> nothing. Okay. In late November, I inherited a home. It was in the process of clearing out what was left of the estate of my great-aunt, who had passed away, when I stumbled upon a very odd DVD of an obscure show. The box was badly damaged, but the disc was in a seemingly perfect condition. Hmm. I guess seemingly. The mystery had peaked. Is that how you spell that? Uh, seems about right had piqued my interest, so I loaded it up in my DVD player to check it out. There were no problems with starting the DVD except for a black screen that lasted for 30 seconds. 
Oh, oh boy, we're back at it again. We're back at uh, the classic we, creepypasta trope. We gotta, we gotta know everything. How, how long everything takes? Yeah. Or else this isn't realistic enough. Because if yeah. I if I ha- picked up a fucking DVD that had like uh, cartoon characters bleeding to death and it was really gruesome, like I surely would remember like how long the black screen took in my recount. You also gotta make sure that Sammy the cat has um hyper realistic bloody eyes. <laughs> yeah, because of course. What whatever hyper. Dude, you gotta make be, sure he I, says yet. Oh wait, dude, what does hyper realistic really mean? Nothing. <laughs> just... I think it's like I think it's basically just like photoshopping like bloodshot eyes and people in the cartoon characters' heads. That I mean, at that it. point, it's not realistic though. Well, you know how they're like they're like photorealistic paintings. That's what I'm imagining here. But hyper realistic. Yeah, I guess the people who write that and don't really think about it that much. Yeah, real AF. Hyper realistic AF. <laughs> After about 30 seconds, the text Sammy the Cat slowly <gasps> rolled across the screen, followed by the year 2019 in a smaller font. Wait, so I'm confused. Was it, it was the black screen so was the black screen 30 seconds or 60 seconds? Cuz you mentioned 30 seconds in the last set paragraph and the start was like 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? I guess he's trying to say, he, or this author tried to say after the 30 seconds. Yeah. But, like, come on, you, you revise the story two times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe should have guessed this, that. This was dumbfounding because my great aunt passed away in 2020, and we were only recently granted access to her estate. Why is that dumbfounding? Yeah, it's, what, it, it's, what it's, is it's that? Well, before it, it, she it, passed COVID. away, so... Guys, guys, it's COVID. It Think was made it. before she passed away, so that's the problem exactly. Are you telling me <laughs> that... Are you telling me that... Uh, are you telling me that COVID was not from China and it was actually from a character called <laughs> Sammy the Cat? <laughs> no, I was going to say, like... Wake up, I was going to say... I was going to say that, like, they couldn't, like, go out because of, like, the world's lockdown, but you may be on to something here. Yeah, Sammy the Cat is actually just a QAnon figure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple. I'm told many of these DVDs were watched by a child she would babysit when she still lived at home. That's a weird way to phrase that, like, weirdly passive, like, I'm told, like, by who? Why are you told this instead of just knowing it because she was your great aunt? Re- just reads kind of weird, like, you were really distant to her, you're like... Yeah, I'm told by external sources that this is what she did. She was at a nursing home from 2017 until her passing. I was interrupted, and the show continues. <laughs> what? You were inter- interrupted you were interrupted from, from what? <laughs> Your thoughts? Her, his inner monologue. <laughs> from recounting it's... this to you, I guess. I'm doing exactly. this all in real time. You thought... Fu- you thought I'm documenting something that already happened? No, this was happening in real time. After the title card, the screen quickly fades into white. Okay, that, that, that's not promising. The white fades into a shot of a lightly furnished, mostly empty room with a door to the left. Rather quickly, however. <laughs> there's, there's no need for the two commas there. It just makes it seem weird. A large cat enters the frame. A large cat? Now, now we are talking. Oh yeah, big cat. Sammy, big the cat is here. <laughs> Sammy, you fat cat. Why are you so fat? The cat is predominantly white, but has black patches and spots. Predominantly? You mean prominently? Prominently. <laughs> I'm sorry. Prominently I can't. White. I. My brain automatically read that wrong. 
<laughs> I mean, your brain automatically wrote it in a way that made sense. <laughs> oh. It makes, it makes more sense. The screen was very blurry, so it's extremely hard to make out. But it appears to be a person in a cat costume. Oh no, it's the cat it's the cat in the hat movie. Oh no. <laughs> Run for your life. I'm so excited. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Here we go, the super luxurious army directional watchmajigger. <laughs> Better than the last one, the super hydraulic instantaneous transporter. <laughs> Oh, my tail. I chopped it off. Dirty ho. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> As it turns around, I notice the large cheeks, googly eyes, and stitches on the front portion of his body. The upper portions of the costume lead me to believe lead me to believe it to be homemade. Yes, yeah. This was revised okay. twice. <laughs> Probably uh public access television i don't know i mean i don't see your issue they still think this they still stand by that point also pro tip just because you can use semicolons doesn't mean you should <laughs> yeah no one uses semicolons anymore the fact that it's like not a default when you like pr when you press shift I'm, I'm losing track of my thoughts anyways moving on eh. After turning around, the cat proceeds to stare into the direction of the camera for what felt like minutes. Ah, oh, but here we go, just continuing the trope of like, oh hey, it's weird things happening, better keep watching. Again, the screen goes white, which lasts for a good minute, okay. I mean, here's to be fair, with, nothing like, has happened yet. Oh, here's the problem with all these creepy pasta stuff. I think he's no one watching. Watches I think he keeps yeah, watching because he hopes it's, like, some low-budget porn. No. <laughs> well, there's that. But also, like, no one uses DVD players anymore, frankly, or whatever. Like, they use, like, their computers and stuff, like, with a disk drive. So can't they just, like, scrub, like, the, uh, the, 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 time, the time until they get to the next weird thing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be fair, depending on your computer, that doesn't always work smoothly. Also, this was an old women's home, so. Ah, got it. My brain, my brain, like, didn't ca quite catch it. Oh, this was just an archive, not the, not that this was written in twenty twenty three. Even then, they could fast forward, you know. Yeah. After a few minutes of white screen, the costumed man is seen eating from the bowl a bowl of what, what? appears to be raw meat. Appear again appears to be like seemingly Looks perfect. Like appears to be raw meat. I guess I can't trust my eyes. Blank Hyper room realistic soup. meat. Is bowl a bowl a special type of bowl? Mm, I don't. I think they just didn't. This was revised twice. The source. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like I think it's like supposed to be a bowl, a, like stutters, then a bowl. But the fact that he's like writing it as a oh. as a. Uh, a forum post doesn't work. If, if it's like, if the framing device he's telling it to somebody, then like, that would make more sense. Just a space in between the two things there. That would work. The source is unknown. I mean, why would it be known? I will leave it up to you to determine what the meat is. Don't put, don't put your work on me. Okay? I have no context. What, what am I supposed to assume? Like, also, you don't know, the source is unknown, I mean, I'd imagine unless they literally slaughtered a pig on screen before, like, how would you know what the source is? Like, you could say that about any meat from any media. After emptying the bowl, the man leaves the frame, only to return about 30 seconds later, holding the hand of a masked woman. The woman was silent and frozen. And I'd almost assume she was unconscious, if not for her footsteps alongside him. What the? But that, so that she, doesn't work uh, logically. Yeah, she's not frozen if she's walking next to him. Like, Those just say, two like, are mutually exclusive. Like, just, like, say stiff as heck. Like, an, like an oddly, like, s stiff person, or whatever. Yeah. The man leads her to the bedside and sits her down. 
He sits down next to her until he eventually starts to shake and the shakes start to get worse and more aggressive and the man is now slightly turned away from the woman and is once again sitting completely still. Oh my god, can, can, we, can we not bring back the Harlem Shake? It died with ironically <laughs> Frank, okay? Oh no. Can we not do that again? This must, this must have lasted for multiple minutes until he reached back and grabbed the woman by the neck. Again, you could have fast forward through all that stuff. The woman lets out a blood curdling scream that is so loud that the camera audio struggles to pick it up. What? <laughs> Wait, so that's loud, not it how it works. <laughs> It's so loud. It, it, it's on a frequency only heard by cats. <laughs> it's not like a. It's not like on Discord where if you're super loud, your audio cuts out. Yeah. And the man covers his ears and starts yelling. The man stands up, also pulling her up involuntarily. The woman is dragged by her neck and then dropped. Wow, so scary. He strangled the woman. By this point, my heart is racing, and I am confused and in shock at what I am afraid I found. (laughs) (laughs) At what you're afraid you found? I, wait, I am confused and in shock at what I am afraid I found? What? This was revised twice. I mean, we don't really need to keep bringing that up. <laughs> I, I just find I like saying that joke. <laughs> it took two revisions to make. Okay. This felt too real and unhinged to be some indie film. How? But fil- What about this felt real? Like, because all you s- described is... Like, you can fake strangling, I'm pretty sure. Like, what detail in this makes you think that this can't be faked? And what about this makes it not seem like it could be an indie film? Yeah. But filled with dread, I continued to watch it unfold. Little did I know, however, that I will soon wish I'd (laughs) turned it off. As opposed to now, where I guess you don't wish (laughs) you've turned it off before or something. I was I was cool with the dude eating raw meat, but when he started killing the woman, that's when I drew the line. <laughs> After dropping the woman, the man frantically runs through a door to the left side of the main room. Perhaps a small closet, because his right leg is still sticking out. That's a detail we needed to know. When inside, he shovels it around for about mm, tw- 10, 20 seconds until he suddenly turns around to reveal a long barreled shotgun pointing directly toward the woman. The woman, still blindfolded, is sitting on the floor unsettlingly silent. Oh, so she's not strangled. We were wrong. She's still breathing. There is an overwhelming sense of hopelessness, hopelessness that flows through my body as I watch her exist. Completely Damn. oblivious to what's pointed at her. Guess she can't hear or something. She isn't allowed to see it coming. <laughs> How do you know? After standing for a moment, the man lowers the gun and casually walks over to the camera and turns it off. The and screen... then the story ended. The screen so goes the dark off. and that is the last of the contents of the DVD. The woman was presumably killed in this scene because I heard a gunshot during it and what followed was the blood curdling scream of the woman. Ha- but the camera was turned off. The show and you, then and ended. Just mentioned, and just mentioned that the last contents of the, fi- of the film thing, whatever, was just him turning the camera off. Yeah, Guy turns remember. the camera off, but not the external microphone, I guess. Yeah. This was revised twice. This is a professional set. After the show ended, after a few days of boredom and some hesitation, I decided to report the discs to the local police department. (laughs) Why did you take multiple days? Also, you don't have to say after twice. After the show ended, after a few days of boredom. 
Yeah, you I don't mean, need I, to I say after to the... after you already wrote after. In the I mean, sentence. I wanted to go to the, to the police, but I wasn't feeling up to it. You know, just one of those days. Because it's all yeah, about man, the that, she that, said bullshit. That film was so traumatizing anyway. I was really bored the next days. <laughs> they took it for evidence, but I'd be lying if I said I'd heard anything back. I, I became mean, concerned. I mean, what are they gonna find realistically? Or like, I'd assume it would take some time because all they have is like a DVD with no context. Like, how do you even know this was real? You didn't even see her getting shot. Like, what, what's, like, again, what's spooky about this? Because all the other stuff at least had, like, oh, I'm being haunted by this thing, or, oh, this, this, there's this old show that I used to watch. What, what? What do you mean it wasn't on any, there's no records of it? Like, also, oh, this, then then seek it. Also, this sounds, like, weird and unsettling, but, like, if I found this, I don't know if I would just assume that all of this was real. I mean, he didn't even saw the woman getting sh sh shot. It was just him pointing the gun at her, and then a sound effect. For all we know, this is some kind of like Lynch film or something like that, and he just thinks it's some weird, spooky, paranormal thing. It could also, just what do you be think... a weird art film. Yeah, what do you guys think the twist is going to be? I I don't know. I had I haven't read ahead, so. Do we want to make some? But I hope it's something good. Uh, sure. The Where grandma is Sammy the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so no. Yeah, that's Great a good on. one. Same difference. Or no, if the, or the girl was that was Sammy shot the was the cat all along. He had been or hypnotized. Or if the girl, the girl somehow. that got shot, assumingly, uh, is the great grandma. Yeah, they had great aunt. Yeah, they had the police enhanced the image, and it turned out that she had like his granddaughter's face. And then it's like, what? But she died in the hospital. How is this possible? <laughs> <laughs> There's been a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I became concerned about what had happened to the woman. And I would prefer the closure of knowing rather than the uneasy ignorance that I've been living in for the past few weeks. Oh, man. I've been terrified of something I hoped wasn't true but was afraid might be. It was eating me alive. So yesterday I decided to reach back into the box where I found the original disc because I knew I hadn't looked very thoroughly... Uh, for the first time, after wait, wait, why? <laughs> hang on, why you? Why did he like not give everything, including the box, to the police? Like, if you're gonna like hand over the weird murder DVD, why not g give it <laughs> yeah. his original package? Because, because it's he's dumb. A, yeah, on. this author's a dumbass. <laughs> I mean, he's the not... character. I'm not, not gonna, uh, uh, not gonna insult the author. <clears throat> After anxiously sifting for about 30 seconds, a convulsive shock is delivered through my entire body when I Again, see it. Passive. Uh, fan theory, fan theory, he's the cat. He has to find, it takes 30 seconds for him to find it, and everything is like an in increments of like 30 to 10 seconds. So what if he's the cat? What if he goes he to an animal shelter it. and among the normal cats there's just a guy in the costume? <laughs> like they don't realize that it was a human all along. It's like it's like the same shelter where they had a, uh, because you know they get hybrid animals or like weird shit over there all the time. So it's kind of like you know that uh, animal shelter in Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> yeah. To my dismay, I spotted yet another unlabeled damaged disc container sitting along the border of the box but I couldn't bring myself to touch it much less open it and ever since then I've been feeling uneasy just give it to the police man I yeah, thought I just... about 
Wait, hold on. I've thought okay. about disposing of it so I don't have to deal with it. But I don't want to get rid of something that may potentially be the solution to a case. However, then turn it over it, to the police. There was more than I thought. More what? I Just give it to the police. How do we dumbass? even know that this character's name is Sammy the Cat? First of all, I the, the title no, screen. Yeah, the title screen. I mean, besides that, but like, how do? Why is it named that? I guess we like, don't know. Do they reveal the cat in like the? Why this... is Oyo Ophi named Oyo Ophi? <laughs> That's an oh, even yeah. better question. Why is Satan's nihilist named Satan's nihilist? <laughs> I mean, that it's just a dumb sense. thing to they put in there. Be kind of nihilistic. They're a killer, I'd assume. Oh mm. no, dude! <laughs> I just read ahead. Without hesitation, except for the hesitation that I had <laughs> mere seconds ago, and the boredom that you experienced for a few days, <laughs> and the weeks. Don't forget the weeks. <laughs> I grabbed the DVD and inserted the damaged disc. Wait, okay. I was hoping for more evidence, and th and these were the uh, the events that occurred during, occurred after the first disc. The events that occurred: the uh, DVD started spinning, the movie played. I was kind of disturbed again. The disc was broken. We get it, but started with the cat again, and he was talking to a five-year-old boy. Me, I I'm lying. I'm lying. And he asked the boy to follow him to some blender that was in the previous the disc. Same I'm sorry, the what? same blender, even though he same. didn't mention a blender in the previous disc, but uh, oh well. I was about to say, yeah, what mention of blenders were there here? None, he just retconned that. He picked up the boy and turned him into a smoothie. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, how big is this blender? <laughs> this really is cat <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make a comically big blender. Are we sure this is not just some horror comedy or something? Like, come on. It, it's like uh, the freaking like, epic movie or some shit like that. That's, that's the one of my magic is happening here. It's like the scene in Unfriended. Where the guy is... Where the ghost makes that one guy stick his hand into the blender that he conveniently had standing right next to him. So he could make this movie right by the computer. Or, wait, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. I think I, know, I think I know what actually happened there. Okay. You all remember Spongebob, right? Remember the episode Shanghai? No. The, the episode... Oh, okay, well. Long story short, they're trapped in the Flying Dutchman's ship. You know, trying to escape. And like the the and in the ending, the canon ending, uh, SpongeBob makes a wish that he, the Dutch was a vegetarian, but they in turn into fruits, and it's inside of a blender. Is that the episode w where uh, Patrick says "little, little, little Lee"? Yes, the, yes, the very same, the very oh. same. I I can't remember was... any of the Sponge. I remember all the episodes, <laughs> but I can't remember the names of the episodes. Got it. Cool. What I'm saying is, he turned the five-year-old boy into into a fruit. That's how he turned him into a smoothie. I mean, he did say earlier that SpongeBob SpongeBob SquarePants was one of the shows I used to watch, like you and I. Oh, I so guess so. so basically, uh, Sammy the Cat is the the fruit man or whatever it was called from that one episode of Moki's show. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. It's all it's all a connected creepypasta universe. It sure makes sense. <laughs> and the cat came back to his closet and pulled and put the long barreled shotgun into the closet, letting. Uh, I guess he had the shotgun. Yeah, I did guess he, he just playing. have this on his back or what? <laughs> I guess he was considering shooting the smoothie, but like he decided against it. <laughs> <laughs> I letting out a I'm huge sigh as though he regretted what he'd done, and the entire thing was cut. And the DVD ends. Oh well. Could have been worse. Oh man, that next line. I started questioning this show. It's almost like this was like kind of immoral what they did. <laughs> it's almost like if this was bad or something. I don't know. I'm not too oh, sure about the Sammy character. He seems kind of sussy. 
I didn't I didn't pay attention when they said like the second when he said the second thing, I believe that was actually one of the lines. And the fact that this man didn't even put it in the nearby shop for DVDs except for my great aunt's house that I inherited and I can understand why. What What? Why what would it, are you why would a murderer about? Why would a murderer put his <laughs> like lynch this film? Man, you mean the guy why in the costume? The murder I guess yeah, I guess I guess he just assumes that the cat also made the movie. I guess this this doesn't need a cameraman or anyone else working on Not it. Not the editor or the guy who distributed it, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it, it just has to be the cat person himself. This really is an indie project that he was <laughs> passionate about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seems very unrealistic for some anonymous person to put their snuff film in a public store for others to watch. Then why did you even, why did you even bring this up if you yourself think this would be unrealistic? Like, why did you bring it up then? <laughs> this guy has a single digit IQ. I turned off the DVD, took it out of my player and reported it to the police department. I shared some evidence with them. Not like, all of it, what, <laughs> Some evidence. What evidence is there other than the DVD itself? Like, that itself is the evidence. What other I evidence mention... is there? I, I cut the mention... DVD in half and gave them the other half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I didn't mention the cat costume we have in the attic. I didn't think that was relevant at the time. Wait, what? There... Wait. I'm, I'm, making I'm making shit up. I'm making shit up. Dude, what if that's actually the 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 twist? <sighs> this is up to you to answer. Okay, actual. No, it's not. Col- actual You're the colon. guy writing it. By the way, actual yeah, colon now instead of semicolon. <laughs> Who was the man in the cat costume? I don't know. I don't How would know. I know? I don't even know where you live until your relatives are. In oh wait, Jesus. and this is the man related to my great aunt. What? No, How? that's the question. How? Is the man related to my great aunt? Oh, and why was he killing people? I don't know or care. I will allow you <laughs> to figure it out. Oh, thanks for allowing me. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I oh always God. wanted permission to do it. I was being sundere about it. I want to find that out. Oh, God. As for the second DVD, I ended up reporting it to the police as well. You did you already, already that, said way. that. <laughs> <laughs> Upon again visiting the PD, I found out he was already serving time in prison on unrelated charges. So the case is closed then! <laughs> this is just this is the him. Who is it? This is the most pointless creepypasta of all time! <laughs> how do you know <laughs> the character's yeah, name is Sammy the Cat? Him? He was wearing a fucking costume! How do they already know it's him? And why are you saying this so nonchalantly? So you caught the killer! Then... Fucking interview him! Fucking ask him. Yeah, fucking I guess. ask him what this was about. You already fucking the police already asked him. It's not even really a mystery then. We can all go on, home, be on feel unrelated safe charges, by the way. God, unrelated. What are those yeah. unrelated charges? Probably Misdemeanor? tax fraud or something. <laughs> Grand larceny, dude. What if it's uh <laughs> over speeding? Uh, dude, what was what was that uh God, what was that? What was that guy that they um, that the SEC covered that bizarre rabbit hole? Harry Kumnas. Yeah. Dude, what if what if Sammy the Cat is actually Harry <laughs> Kumnas? I mean, okay. have you ever seen them in the same room? I don't think so. <laughs> they are now investigating the content of the second DVD of the show. Wait, what? But he's already in prison. They yeah, already you, have him. <laughs> you removed the author. You removed all the stakes. Why would they need to investigate the second DVD? Also, how I do mean, you... it's still evidence. So is it like he reported it and somehow they figured out, oh, yeah, we know this guy. 
Uh, we he's in he's in uh, prison, <laughs> guess, yeah. but not for this re- not for this show though. I guess this they caught the... him in his costume. That's how they knew. <laughs> this is the opposite of is he like of, one of those uh, like people one of those mascots out in new york city <laughs> times square causing destruction oh yeah this is the opposite like of like of can't be fixed all, like there are no all the stakes are in the beginning and then just like there's a sharp decline of like oh everything's fine now you know what i'm saying yeah more like can be fixed question mark <laughs> No, no, no! It can be fixed! Exclamation point! <laughs> it will be well, fixed, and, and then it's whether you like it or not. That. <laughs> Was to as be for, fixed, yeah. <laughs> as for the man, I hope he stays away from me and never He's steps in foot near this what? house again. He's what? He's in prison. Wait, what dude! Wait, 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 wait! Julius, read this last line. This is the end of this post. <laughs> it sure is. It sure it is. is. Can't argue with that. As for the man, <laughs> how do you know who he is? <laughs> he was already in prison. They already had him. So, like, that... So, when he asks, is the man related to my great aunt, does that mean he knows? And if so, how does he know that? Maybe he just wanted I to be a dick think at the he end. Knows. I think he's just wondering that because it was at her house. If he posted it on posted it on Reddit, then yeah, I can this see that. This is just lazy. This whole thing is like lazy. Like it's like I'll leave it to you to imagine to imagine the horror. Also, you stated in the beginning that you were shaking and crying while typing out this story, but at the end, it's like mm, I'm letting you figure it out. <laughs> Not shaking and crying what, anymore, are you? Am I supposed to figure out there aren't any... It's not like he even left any clues there. <laughs> like, there's nothing to figure out. I can make stuff up if you want, but I don't you even just... see the point. Literally what happened is this guy left his Lynch films in your in your, in your great aunt's like attic. That's it. And just, he's already in prison, so I don't even feel any urgency about this. Like, sure, I'm kind of curious about how this all uh, came to be, but... I Problem mean, it's not solved. like we have to solve the case to get him into prison. He's already there. Uh, so, uh, this was on the deletion appeal, right? Yeah. Is it still We're- on there? Oh my! Oh my God! Let's, we're gonna find. We're, I'm on we're, the. We're I'm find. on the page right now. Okay, type in Sammy the Cat. Yep. Yep. It's still on there. Yep. Uh, we're taking a little. Uh, what is it? Detour or whatever. Yeah. You, you're getting a it's bonus a, this episode since we haven't done a creepy boss in a while. Okay, so it's a reprise. It's <laughs> so a there's reprise actually two the sections appeal. of Sammy the Cat. So if you go on creep the creepy pasta deletion appeal. Uh, wow, can't believe we're revisiting this page after, like, months. A reprise! So, uh, just type in Control-F and type in Sammy. And then, so there's one, Sammy the Cat Denied. Okay, go to the first one that says Sammy the Cat Denied. Okay, can then I it also says, up here? It also says Sammy the Cat Rewritten. <laughs> yeah. All right, I went over the past and I edited the things that were pointed out on my talk page. Let me point out some things and differences. You can check out the story too if you want. I mean, they'd have to if you're appealing the deletion. Nonsensicality. I tried fixing everything I could and I read the story and I read the story carefully. If you catch anything that doesn't make sense, I will be sure to put it in the weird category. I don't know how that would fix anything. Lack of sufficient, lack of su- lack of a sufficient horror element. To be clear, now, this is the author. Yeah. Yeah. Now I added some stuff to the creepy pasta. Please read it carefully before marking this as denied. This is not the same story, and there are changes included in the story. Oh yeah. I would suggest providing more detail about the contents of the tape as well as doing more with the second unwatched one that is mentioned at the end. 
So I guess originally he didn't even mention the contents of the second tape. Wow. This is wow. now Just added. Wow. This is now added. And the I'll get back to you guys with more information cliche was removed. I promised that I will stop including cliffhangers in my stories. There was still and a by cliffhanger. Cl- and by removing cliffhangers, I of course we remove any and all things. It's getting annoying, I know that, and I included the unwatched second tape at the very end with some more things included in the part of the story, and I added more contents of the first tape as well. Continue reading the story, and you will notice the changes. Don't tell, <laughs> don't tell them what to do, dude. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Do you, you have a real problem? Don't. Don't. Don't get on. Don't like force me to do what you want. <laughs> Can I also, also read the... you're uh, appealing the, uh, the deletion. Of course they're gonna read it. That's their job. Also, can I read um the uh, the reply to this right below? Please do. Yeah, sure. When you're done. I promise, I promise that the things that were said on my talk page are included in this version. If you capture a few spelling errors, punction, or anything for that matter. Punction. <laughs> Period. You should have revised this letter, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will be sure to edit it. For now, this is the updated and revised copy of the Sammy the Cat story. Tell me what you decide on doing with the story or not. Yeah. Also, there there was I'm looking at this um this reply by Joseph the Snail, one of the admins. I guess from the examples that he um pulled from the uh I guess this revised version, or was it the original? I don't know. This might I be guess more revised than ours because this seemingly this, has more. I'm looking detail. at the examples from the story, and there's a there's stuff in this that probably would have uh, should have been left in the story, maybe because it gives more context. Or maybe this is an even later revision. I don't know. This no, this was in January 2023. Oh yeah. Oh my god, dude. Sorry. So Joseph the Snail replies. Sorry, but this story still doesn't pass to the quality standards. The same issues as before most apply, so I'll be more specific in my feedback this time. Mostly apply. Mostly, yeah. Uh, firstly, the stuff you've added really hasn't helped. The second tape has a serious lack of description and its pacing is offbeat with the rest of the story. The exposition dump at the end is also very forced. It's good that you've attempted to act on my previous criticism, but the solution to a story lacking detail is not just to shove all the answers in one of the closing paragraphs. There's also a lot about the new ending that doesn't make sense. For example... The DVD was made in my great aunt's house, and it was made by her ex-husband. Why did you remove that from the second revision? Wait, hang on, hang because on. Because the little, uh, I think because Joseph the Snail said, well, the answer isn't to shove all the answers in one of the closing paragraphs, so the author thought, well, gonna put this out again and do but this. ask let, the questions let that makes decide. it seem like I know. Make, ask that's, the questions to make it seem like I know what the answers are, and I'm gonna leave it to you to answer them. Man. That's exactly what happened because, like in the 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 the, the praise bin is, was made on tw- January 23rd, and this response was like literally the day before. Oh, man, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, Joseph, Joseph the Snail Show. So, so yeah, I guess the the Adam right here is the one who archived it with the paste bin. <clears throat> this okay he went mad and started kidnapping children and other unfortunate people who participated in his show the costumed cat was made by him to lure people lure people inside i mean sure you know this would have sure. been great to include in your second revision cuz it seems been. like this your past revision includes more context as to yeah. what the Sammy the Cat character is. This is the first mention of the tapes being part of a, quote, show. There's no real suggestion of that in the story. It feels very forced to sporadically mention it here. And also, 
How did he lure people inside with the cat costume? <laughs> an adult, an adult is not going to see a fully grown man in a costume and be lured by it. Oh, come on, you don't know me. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 he's luring children, not a full grown man. You want some free yeah, candy kids? Yeah, but there kids? also, was a, there also was a grown woman. So oh, I assume shoot, there you're... were also adult people. Do we know? Uh, but do we know if the great aunt was involved? I mean, she was a camera person. Oh. I think. I, 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 no, I, I don't, don't think that's so. That's what I'm imagining. Because she died in the hospital or something. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Okay, never mind then. Sorry. I, I, I assumed too much. Besides, we know the house is in a, is a suburban area. No kid who is old enough to wander around on their own is going to be lured by it either. Also, speaking of the cat thing, the cat is prominently white, but has black patches and spots. An absurdly large Maine Coon? <laughs> no, it has to be a person in a cat costume. <laughs> <laughs> he is the coon. <laughs> a, a cat so large that it can make oh, you no. question whether it's a, just an absurdly large cat or a person, uh, maybe like a, like a, a person who's 4'11 in a cat costume. <laughs> Maine Coons may be big, but there's no way a fully grown man would pass for one. This is a silly detail to include if you're not going to signpost it in some way. Maybe by saying that the picture went blurry or that it was some sort of camera trick. I guess that's why he included the blurry thing in the second revision. <laughs> in terms of grammar and syntax, oh, there you go. <laughs> Here we go. There are reoccurring issues in the form of tense, which is an awkward wording of sentences. You should ideally be more proofreading or doing more proofreading to weed out instances of this as it weighs the story down considerably. I'll include some examples from below. The screen suddenly cuts to the costume man eating from a bowl, semicolon, a bowl of a what? So there was a semicolon there, but they changed it to a dash. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, that'll, he's like, that'll fix it. Change the punctuation in the sentence is fantastic. Why, why did you include two a bowls? It would have been fine I, if you said eating from a bowl of seemingly ground up meat. I already mentioned this before, but I mentioned it again. If it's like a man like recounting it, like if, if it's just a story about like a man talking to someone else about it, if he stutters and say a bowl. A I also, bowl. I you know, also like. I also like seemingly ground up meat. Might be ground up. Might also be like minced by hand. Who even knows? Also here, a bowl of seemingly ground up meat from a human or animal. A blender was also seen in the background. Oh, so, so that that's where the, <laughs> the blender was. He pulled. pulled so it, he's... he he uh, pulled it out again. I guess. So in this for some revision. Reason, in this revision, the author mentions that the the meat was from a human or an animal, but in this second revision that we read, it says, uh, do, does not know what the source is, just knows that it's raw meat. I also like ground up meat from a human or animal, as opposed to what, meat from a plant? <laughs> <laughs> They're eating that hey, impos man, they impossible hey, burger man. meat. Yeah, they're growing soy. They're grow. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they he ground up Cosmo. Those bastards brings up so <laughs> brings the term soy boy to a whole new meaning. Yep. Oh no. He sits down <laughs> alongside her, still costumed. The man sat still for a moment until he eventually uh, started to twitch, seeming to reflect for quite a, a long time. Until eventually, the twitches turn into a sharp erratic but deliberate motions of the body. <laughs> Great. What? The woman lets out a shriek so loud that the camera uh, audio struggles to pick it up. A shriek was so deafening that the man shields his ears and yells indecipherably. A shriek. Yeah, a shriek. <laughs> Who even knows the who made it? The overriding problem I have with this story is that it just doesn't feel like there's any real point or purpose to anything that's happening narrative-wise. 
Uh, we were just talking about that. <laughs> just that it's meant to be scary for the sake of being scary. If you really want to get the story appealed, I would advise sitting down and actually working out a way of interlinking all these plot points to form one coherent whole <clears throat> and then thinking about how to effectively communicate that whole to the reader without using an exposition dump. The randomnessity, the randomnessity and heaps of unanswered questions do n nothing to help you here. I guess. Thank. You. I guess his answer was to was to take even more context out. I guess. Wow. Um. So this link right here. Okay, this is the one you. Okay, so this is the second revision. That okay, the one we read before, obviously first revision now this is the second let's see what happens here try to fix it here you go <laughs> hello thanks for specifying what you wanted to be fixed it, 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 can, it can be fixed guys i swear <laughs> i i proofread everything and made sure it was decent this time and no, yes i didn't. made sure to make yeah yeah whatever you did stop it get some help and I made sure to make everything look better. If you you did not. Things... You took out a bunch of things that... that <laughs> you took out a bunch of context. Took out so much. If you catch a few things wrong with this story, we ca the whole story is, is something wrong. So, like, that's one thing. But let me know. Here's a link to the story. Allow me to point out the changes. Note. I was editing the revised version while I was waiting. Oh, wait, Great. guys. Hold on. Um... Never mind. I I don't know why for some reason earlier I said Joseph the snail was the uh, admin. I forgot how. I it's been a while since we've looked at this. Um, it's fine. Things it's happen. Not, Joseph the snail is the author. Never mind. Um, oh, okay. and the the other person, the admin that replied was uh, I forgot their username, but yeah. Okay. Also, <laughs> also about the grammar in the story, it's meant to feel like. Grammar you see in a book? Well, what? it doesn't succeed what? at that. And that doesn't... I don't even know what the hell you're saying. Uh, like... Uh, yeah, me neither. I guess written a, English it, as opposed to spoken English. <laughs> but that doesn't explain any of the errors they made, so... Who knows? It's meant I've to feel to... like gram... It's meant to feel like written grammar. <laughs> but you failed to do that also. Yeah. I've tried to fixing a bunch of tense switches, which is awkward sentences and a few minor sentences. And that bull of bull sentence, you did not fix it. You just added the hyphens and replaced the semicolon. You can find out what I changed when you check out the, when, you, when you check out the story. When you check the story out, sorry, my, my, the story is making my brain. I like how uh, this author has the same attitude towards the admin, and like he has like the same attitude in his story also. You you want to check it out? You can find out. <laughs> yeah, I think we're about to find it out. <clears throat> the DVD was made in my in my great aunt, oh original DVD made in my great aunt's house, made by ex husband. Uh, skipping that to the revised thing because we, we read we just read it before. This is up to you to answer. Who was the man in the cat costume? Uh, I left it completely up to the reader. They can get creative and visualize on what person could be behind Sammy and why he's killing people. How so does that make just take a look. Go back, and... go back to the original and revised. Julia, show this oh. on screen. So show both revised and original. Look at the original oh. sentence, then look at the revised. That's that's how you want to fix it? Just by, like, completely, like, nick the sentence, and now it's like... I'll leave it to you. Like the original explains why, like how he's, re like explains how he's related to the great aunt and why he made the show. I guess, but the revised does not explain that at all, and, and it does not explain that it was her husband. It just it just says, "Oh, he's related to my great aunt." And why it was he? Actually, why do you says, make the show? I don't even know if he's related to my great aunt. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it seems like he knows, but he's asking you for some reason. You just took the story out of your story, thanks, man. Like, what made them think that this would fix anything? 
Especially so since the admin already complained about there too, being too much open questions. But they somehow thought, well, I just put more questions and I'll just let my readers write my story for me at this point. I, I, hang on, ChatGPT was out at this point, right? He could he could have used ChatGPT to make the story better or some <laughs> bullshit. I left, I left it completely up to the reader. They can get creative about it and visualize on what person could be behind Sammy. No, and... no, shut up. <laughs> That's yeah. not how it works. It's yeah, not an interactive you're... story, dude. It's not an ARG. It's not an ARG, motherfucker, okay? Here's my new Sammy book. It's, ARG. <laughs> it's, here's my new. Here, here's my new. Uh, here's my new murder mystery book. It just says a man was killing people. Now you readers can decide who the man was and how he <laughs> killed those people and what the context was and how oh he God. gets caught eventually. So you can get creative. I'm all, doing oh, you oh all God. a favor, and that's the book. <laughs> I think, I, hey guys, because remember why that one, even like, bother? <laughs> I remember that one joke I made in the middle of this, in the uh, middle of the setup, where it's like I read the uh, weird Attack on Titan Mario thing, and I said like, "You actually imagine the plot. We found the st- the actual s- example of that. You actually imagine what's happening here." <laughs> yeah. Hooray! I removed the exposure dump. <laughs> And left it up to everyone. Everyone reading the story. I hope it won't disappoint any readers. Oh my god! You, 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 you disappoint me. Get, get out of here. You are, you're fired. Get out of here. I hate read the next but, sentence. <laughs> but it may allow them to use their creative imagination. Motherfucker! Use I can yours. use my creative imagination without for making you stories, even... not for figuring out stories. <laughs> I can use my creative imagination by myself. I don't need you to write half a story for me to complete it. I can come up with my own story. I mean, if we were going to use creative (laughs) imagination for Sammy the Cat, might as well just write fan fiction for Sammy the Cat. I want everyone to be a creative artist. Oh god! Can, oh my god! Can we, <laughs> can we write? Can we write that one? Can we write a better ver- version of Sammy the Cat? And, if, and post if it we're going to be here? a creative artist, can you include Ron and Andrea too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, okay. The original the, the cat scratch thing. Look, I'm being honest. I included the screen being blurry part, and I hope this is fine. The rest of the writing is the same, but the main coon part was removed. Let me know what should be changed. What should be changed? I, I guess okay. that's fair. Can you actually um read the original, like the next original and next revised? Gotcha. Sorry. I thought it would be, be more expedient this way. I can do that. <clears throat> original. The screen suddenly cuts the costumed man eating from a bowl. A bowl of seemingly ground up meat from a human or animal. Okay. Was also, was also seen in the background. That was the original. Let's see yeah, what again, the revised is. Seemingly ground up meat. <laughs> After a few minutes of white screen... The man, the costume man, is seen eating from a bowl. A bowl of what appears to be raw meat. The source is unknown. I will leave it up to you to determine what the meat is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that All just right. makes it better. Oh, do you read this next line? All right. I had no idea on how to make this part scary, <laughs> so I made it up for the reader to decide. <laughs> <laughs> just like the ending. Get the, but that doesn't make it scary either. <laughs> You're supposed to make it scary, author. You don't you... don't give us homework. There's a certain art to like make like the reader ask questions of the story, trying to figure it out. But you don't know how to even write a basic, basic like rising action or whatever the frig. You can't even do that right. You might as well put this story in a fucking escape room. You gotta <laughs> yeah. figure it out. <laughs> well, escape rooms usually have stories about them. Yeah, but they have better clues also. <laughs> that as well. Hey, money idea. You could make a, a Sammy the yeah, Cat if this room. Was, if this was an escape room, it was just tell you where you can make up an answer. <laughs> I don't really Creepy know. Creepypasta escape rooms. <laughs> just make up the riddle. <laughs> I don't I even know. Figure out how Jeff went insane and killed his parents. I didn't make the riddle parents. hard enough. <laughs> just make up your own riddle. Or don't. I don't care. 
<laughs> if the door is already open, you can <laughs> you can just go out, or you can make what up is, a riddle and solve that. It's like if it, it's like an adventure time. What is simple and also a riddle? I want people to use their mind, not my mind, theirs, just to imagine the content of the bowl. But you told me it was meat. What else am I supposed to imagine? The chipmunks, of course. Eh, that was, a, that was a dumb joke. That I couldn't make funny. The aftermath of their imagination may give them the chills. <laughs> yeah, it may not. My own mind gives me the chills. I mean, you gave me no reason to have chills about this. You gave me no mm. clues that would make me assume it's something bad. All you told me is that there is ground meat. Like, that alone isn't scary. Like, am I supposed like, wow. to make up what kind of meat it is? I don't know. It Sammy, could be buffalo. Maybe is... it's ground wheat. Ground veal. Yeah. I thought, is it ground wheat? <laughs> that's, uh, it's like ground that, that's, like, that's scary. Sammy the cat is eating a cheeseburger. Like, whatever, dude. Got ground veal. Original. Uh, maybe it is ground veal. Maybe uh, Sammy the cat is actually Gilbert Garfield for everyone. Uh, anyone who yeah, we're knows. Go oh, Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried. No, Gilbert oh God, Garfield. This, this is this is just the aristocrat, the aristocrats joke, but it's aristocats. Basically, that's what's that's oh, that's damn. the problem here. This was supposed to be an aristocrats joke. That, that everything makes well perfect sense now. Original. He sits down alongside her, still costumed. The man sat still for a moment until the event just started. To twitch, seeming to reflect for quite a long time until eventually the twitch's shirt turned to sh into sharp, erratic, but deliberate motions of the body. <sighs> Vibrating with motion. This is. Uh, I am high rotating. <laughs> Revised. He sits down next to her until he eventually starts to shake, and the shakes start to get worse and more aggressive, and the man is now slightly turned away from the woman. And is, once again, sitting completely still. Okay, yeah, here you go. Better. I hope this is acceptable change again. Some Same thing as the previous one. I tried making this not, not seem awkward to read. Well, I'm being honest. Uh, if I'm being honest, the original made it feel like Sam was flirting with the woman. No, it doesn't. It wasn't even intentional, lol. Yeah, I don't lol. know. Because it doesn't. I like how you add the LOL about. at the end. <laughs> LOL, was <laughs> that flirting? <laughs> what is going on? I mean, like, that was not the more... problem there. They, th th they didn't all. even speak. The cat didn't even speak to the woman, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> like, what about this was flirty? The sitting still part? No, when he, when he goes up to her... And he starts shaking erratically because he's so nervous around her. That's flirting. Everyone, everyone knows the flirtiest thing you can do is to choke a woman. I guess that's that's what that's why that's what he was doing. If it's consensual, to... that is. Yeah. And if you follow safe practices. Original, the last one. The woman lets out a loud shriek so that the camera audio struggles to pick it up. A shriek was so deafening <laughs> that the man shields his ears and yells indecipherably. <laughs> the woman lets out a blood-curdling scream that is so loud at, that the camera audio struggles to pick it up, to, and the man covered his ears and started yelling. It's just, it's like, okay, I, I think I was too too or, too early in my chat to be either. It looks like the exact same sentence, it just spat out two different ways. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, um... I guess you, the uh, A shriek instead of the shriek issue is gone, and that's about it. You you just kind of just paraphrase a sentence. You paraphrase your own sentence. <laughs> yeah. Like, nothing... Like, almost nothing about this was really fixed. It still sounds ro robotic as hell. Okay, here you go. I tried fixing the tent switch. Also, I apologize for that tent switch. And again, I hope this ten switch goes well. And the ten switch. <laughs> <sighs> I hope this change gets accepted as well. 
Tell me what you think and what I should change. Thank you. I will be patient. Have a nice day and no rush. I mean, and to be fair, are, at least they're nice about it. That's and good. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This was this appeal was uploaded on on February third. They didn't even care to finish it because they have another, another one below that was denied literally the same month. They just kept moving on and they just did not. Wait, did care. they write another story? No, 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 no. no. I'm, what I'm saying is like uh. in the deletion appeals thing. Like they didn't even care to do the, to look at the second one. They just moved to the next creepy possible to deny. <laughs> I think they figured that if they if they gave him the like if they gave him the criticism again, he would just come back. With some slight paraphrasing, and it would be the same thing over again. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, let's be honest, this author just can't write good-sounding sentences. I I don't know why, but judging from everything we've seen, I just think that's the way it is. And uh, I can forgive bad grammar as I long as like think what they need to practice for. Yeah. A long while I can, before uploading thing, anything. Can, here's the thing: I can forgive bad grammar as long as, like, they're making like the idea of like what they're trying to say is interesting. Then I'll like, oh, that's kind of cool. Wish it was said differently, but that was cool. This has nothing to it. This is just yeah, this has no I, dumb. I mean, dumb. There pasta. really is no point to it. I mean, there kind of was a backstory at least, and then they removed it for some reason. Because they want us to use our imagination. I just can't get my head around that. That's so stupid. Did not expect to uh, revisit the um, the creepypasta deletion appeal, but it was nice to return to it. It was yeah. nice. I kind of yeah. wanted to, like, anyways. Because like it's, it's being constantly updated. <sighs> Oof. This, this hurt. This makes me... Upset and angry, got the, just the sheer lack of like anything cool going on here. Well, you know how it goes. Uh, don't arrest this offer or any of the other offers we cover. Or they I might guess, get, they might. Well, they I might would say or Sammy the cat provision. is gonna pay you a visit, but he's in prison, so I don't know. Sammy the cat is gonna lure you into your own house. Make sure, <laughs> make up your own punishment that you'll receive. <laughs> Use what your creativity. What punishment is that? Well, that's up to you to decide. Yeah, you may <laughs> shiver at what you come up with at the end. I just want to give, give you, you guys chills. a chance to be creative. I want, I want your death to be creative. I want you to die in a way that's satisfying to you. <laughs> Number fifteen. Sammy the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you want in your house is a, cat, is a guy in a cat costume. <laughs> you never figure out if it's a main coon or just a guy in the cat costume. <laughs> a giant coon was luring this five-year-old boy into his house. <laughs> Upon closer examination, the main coon might actually be a man. But we don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I've this looked at it, and I can't really tell if it's ground meat <laughs> or not. Keep going, you keep going. This man in the main June costume lured in a woman. It was hard to tell if he was flirting with the woman or not. <laughs> <laughs> On further inspection, there's a second disc. He may have dropped a kid into a blender. <laughs> oh, that was fun! My God, if they want, if they if they want more number fifteen jokes, where can they where can they find us making them? In the DLDR server, of course. Fantastic. <clears throat> And we also, we also have a have... request form if you have yes. any bad media to request to us. And we have a Tumblr and so other social media down in the description. And remember, folks, do not like, do not read. Bye. All right, peace out, everyone. Late.